Welcome to Pause on Purpose. Men, I have a question for you. Ladies, it, it pertains to you, so hold on. But men, every time you bought flowers for your gal, whether it was Valentine's Day or Sweetest Day or whatever day it may have been, it may just be just because. Wasn't it great to see the look on her face? But then you and I both know within about three to five days, those flowers are not going to be looking as good as they did just a few days ago. We kind of wish we had a better return on the investment with those flowers. Ladies, we got a great return on it. I mean, we love you. We're not talking about return on investment with you. We're talking about the flowers. And so the whole idea is that we buy those flowers and we think, man, this is going to really make her happy, especially if we did something that was, you know, made her upset. And we're hoping it turns things around, and it does. But then those flowers wilt or die. Or, you know, when you buy roses, and I hated this. Every now and then, I would buy a set of roses, and they would never bloom. They would just kind of, you know, roll over and die. And it just drove me crazy because you, you really wanted to do something nice for your bride, and then they never bloomed. Well, what does this have to do with today's pause on purpose? Everything, beloved, because our next modifier means unfading, which is exactly what is the opposite of what we just described. Unlike flowers that will fade away, that will wilt and, you know, die over, our inheritance is unfading. It will not fade away. Now, what does that mean for us? Well, it it can never be said of our inheritance that it'll it'll just kind of fade away into the sunset, but like a behind me, right? It's a beautiful thing. And when you think about unfading, you think about things that will wilt or or just pass away or not bring a return on the investment like you had hoped. Beloved, our inheritance is all of that and so, so much more. Because God has preserved it from fading away. And it's waiting for you and me there in heaven with our name on it. And that's the beautiful thing. We won't have to share it with anyone else. Oh, we probably will because we want to. And they'll share theirs with ours. But beloved, it's ours. It's, it's, it has our name on it. And it's sealed by our Lord Jesus, which leads us to our last word today. Unlike earthly wealth, our heavenly inheritance will neither wither, it won't grow dim, or lose its beauty or glory for all of eternity. Because God loves us that much. So you go with God, hold on to God in your inheritance and experience that living hope today that is unfading. And I'll see you next time.